Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, my name is Lionel. Hey, I'm your host for LG Productions. And you are watching I Watch You Watch. Um, we are covering uh, Power, book three, Raising Canaan. Uh, this is season three, episode nine. I originally thought this was the season finale, but there's more. <laughs> next week is the season finale. So we got more to, to talk about at least next week. But I do appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like this video. Also share it. And you can subscribe to my channel if you are new uh, to this space. And you can leave your comments below. All right. So I did watch it probably about a few hours ago. I didn't write anything down like I usually do. Hopefully I've committed everything to memory. But here we go. All right. So we start off the episode with Ronnie. Ronnie is with some of his guys. Um, and then in this look like this van, not van, that's on this abandoned street. And all of a sudden, there's a swarm of cars that comes and surround the van. And the guys are like, basically, it looks like we've been caught. And Ronnie said, no. They're going to be the ones to give us what we need. Basically, I guess the drugs or whatever. So the men get out of those cars and then start um, basically having guns. And, and they are at every door. So it looks like it's a, a sting operation from the FBI. But no, we find out that this is Juliana's cousin. So they make Ronnie get out of the car, hand over his gun, and they frisk him down. And then he talks with uh, Juliana's cousin. And basically he says that Juliana's dead. Your relationship with um, Juliana is dead. And also whatever you had going on as far as the shipment business and stuff, that's over with. Because I made a promise that I would not sell heroin to the um, south side of Queens, Jamaica. And basically, he's, oh, he also said that you would be dead right now, but only because of my investors or his investors uh, said cease fire to you. So then at that point, the cousin, uh, the, he had left. And Ronnie was already feeling like this is Rock's doing. And you know he's got that straight stare <laughs> that he normally has. Whatever. Oh. Famous. He's at the bar. While he is there, he's hearing somebody play his music. And it's actually, I think her name is Shelly. I forgot her name. Uh, but the bar owner, she's with this guy who is a, a independent uh, uh, label owner who's listening to Famous' music. And he really likes what he got going on. So Famous comes in there. He introduces himself. And he wanted to know a little bit more about Famous and who produced the tracks and uh, Lou produced the tracks. He's like, well, I would like to have a meeting with both you and Lou to see what we can get started for you guys. And he said, cool. You know, and Shelly was like, have you heard from Lou? And he's like, yeah, I, <laughs> I talk to him every day. No, you don't. So he went to Kanan's place. In a minute, he got up in there. It was opposition with Ronnie. He put him in a chokehold. And Kanan was like, that's enough. Like, what are you doing, ninja? Um. Uh, Famous just said, I just came to look for Lou. And Kanan said, I'm not really effing with my family right now, so I don't know what's going on. And then Ronnie finally lets him go and throws him on the ground. And Famous is just leaving. And Kanan said, well, Jukes, a thing is at the mall. I'm going to be there. He'll probably, he should be there too. So then Famous leaves. And then Ronnie said, if you go to the mall, our business is done. And Kanan said, don't worry about what I got going on. What the F I got going on? I thought, and that's right, Kanan. What, <laughs> Ronnie act like he can only do stuff around here. Whatever. Obviously, Kanan and Ronnie are not going to work out for that long. Ronnie got his own thing, and Kanan got his own thing. He don't really know what he's doing. And Ronnie really just wants to take out Rock so he can go on and be the kingpin, you know. So, anyways. Um... Rock, uh, she goes and has, it looks like breakfast, um, with Juke. And basically she's just cheering her on and prompting her uh, regarding the um, uh, uh, concert she's got going on or performance that she has going on. Um, so um, just encouraging her. But then all of a sudden um, Juke was like, uh, have you talked to Kanan lately? And Rock was like, well, we really don't have anything to say to each other at this point. So, no. So, Duke said, well, I can go see see what's going on with them. And Rock said, no. And 
it really hasn't been fair that you had to go and, and find him or at least find out what's going on with him. But today, it's all about you. I just want to spend time with you to get to know you and, and see what's going on in your life. Um, she drops by this um, letter that came to the house. Um, I believe that the house, uh, it's a letter from the army. And she was talking to her about it. Like, uh, so do you want to go to the army or do you want to sing? Right? She says she don't know. And she's just weighing her options. And Rock was like, do what works for you. Wherever you can find your happiness at, do it. Whether it's singing on stage or if the army is going to help you with that. So, um, And that's how Rock has been. Just allowing um, Juke to find her own place. Especially you trying to discover yourself out of your atmosphere has got to be a really hard thing to do. <sighs> Let's see. Okay, so Lou, you know what Lou's on. <laughs> so after he took care of Scrappy's mom, he's already drunk and he's crashing in the cars and all that good stuff. So he finally made it to his destination, which was a liquor store. And he wanted to buy a bottle of liquor. But apparently he didn't have any money or his wallet or whatever. It was missing. So then he sticks out his gun because this guy's like, you pay or you go, blah, 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 blah. So he pulls out his gun and then Ron, and the dude was going to reach for his gun, but he said, I don't think so. Well, since Ronnie, I mean, Lou is very incoherent, he ended up slipping a little bit and the guy was able to get the gun. But Lou ended up um, running out the store while the dude was shooting at him. But anyways, Lou got away and he didn't get hurt. So for most of the episode, Lou was missing. Marvin went to go look for him. Um, they look, they've already started production for the heroin. Um, we're seeing how everything is taking place. Um, well, I'll get back to Lou in just a second. So um, Lou, oh no. We see how they already got the organs, um, the lineup of everything. They're in this warehouse and putting all the heroin packages together and then shipping it out to the different Chinese stores. And how they're actually selling it is special sauce. And everyone knows that that's secret code for the drugs that you want. So when you get your takeout, you also get some drugs too. Almost similar to what uh, Tyreek and his dude and his boy uh, came up with last season until he got caught up. Um... So anyways, Marvin was asking, you know, have you seen Lou around? And they basically were looking at him like, no. He, they end up telling him about what happened with Lou and him getting um, caught up at a liquor store or whatever. So Marvin gets the landlord to open up um, Lou's apartment. Lou's still not there. And he just says, you know, lock it up. <laughs> and he's going to look for him, whatever, blah, 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 blah. At this time, now we're going to go to Howard. Detective Burke's dad has gone to the police station and has talked to the captain. And he's saying that Nicole's dad said that Howard was the one to tell him to come to the, the IDA or a AID, whatever the, the people are. And he's saying, I don't understand what, what what's up. You know, the case is closed, sir. There's nothing else. And then they ended up, he ended up saying that Laverne, a.k.a. Juke, was Nicole's girlfriend. That all of a sudden got the, the wheels turning and Captain, he's like, oh, so Juke is the daughter of Marvin. So obviously there is a tie there. So they're thinking about op reopening the case for Shannon. Um, they bring in the task force dude and they're talking amongst themselves and they ask um, Howard to come in and say, hey, we think that what's going on? Is there some type of relationship you have with Marvin? At this point, Howard's kind of playing a, 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 almost like a Karen move. Um, the captain asked him, did you ask uh, Nicole's father to uh, come and report on Shannon? And he said, well, you said you wanted all the publicity to die down from this and all that. And the captain was like, well, how come you didn't come in and say anything about what was going on with the Shannon? And he said, I'm not a snitch. You know, so that's what happened. And that's when he was asked, you know, what type of relationship you have with Marvin? He said, relationship with a drug dealer? Come on. I don't know how long, what, how this is going to take place or I don't want to say take place but going to uh, work out for Howard but we're going to see what happens so he does visit Rock one more time and Rock is getting tired of meeting up with him but basically now he wants to talk about uh, the whole FBI thing and also the Lou situation and we got to handle this one way or the other Lou is finally found in the bar because the police have been called 
and the, the police take him or at least some guys take him to some type of abandoned warehouse there we find out this is a setup and first howard comes in and questions him about certain stuff like we really got to deal with you lou finds out that howard was the one that set up scrappy to be killed because basically he said that he was the one that was uh being the snitch the informant and howard denies at least being the one to be the killer uh, of uh scrappy but whatever but your life is a real screw up at this point um before rock gets there let me back up a little bit butter does perform and they do a tremendous job so shout out to butter and actually crystal finally gave her props which is quite interesting <laughs> considering the fact um right after the concert rock and canaan have words rock is saying you don't know what you're getting into and you're basically done and can say basically you can't tell me what to do <laughs> and then he walks off in his you can't tell me what to do i'm paraphrasing i said boy shut up 15 acting like you a real savage shut up um and marvin's like you gonna let him talk to you like that as he walks off and rock doesn't say anything so at this point she knows she doesn't have anything in the power to stop him at this moment uh, she did tell him about the whole don't be threatening the social worker and all this good stuff blah 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 blah. so marvin and rock had left all of a sudden these guys are coming in which is the fbi they come in and take um juke so i don't know what this is going to do for her singing career but obviously now it, it was an a when you see somebody getting arrested <laughs> right in front of you at your job what are the chances of you really going to be able to maintain your job? So, um, Juke goes to the station and is, is questioned and trying to tie Howard to um, her dad. And she says, I'm not doing nothing. You ruined my night. I'm going to ruin your night. I'm not answering nothing. So he ends up just letting her go. But he said something about, you know, I understand about being a part of a dysfunctional family, a corrupt family. You can try to get up out of it. The, the scars are there and they never leave. All that good stuff. So obviously this is going to be some type of turning point for Juke. I don't know what's going to happen, but we shall see. At this point, Rock and Marvin, uh, they've made it down to where they're holding um, Lou captive. Um, basically, Lou is, is begging for his life <laughs> and Rock is saying no. Howard is there and Rock confronts him because she finally understands that you were lying saying that the FBI had nothing on us and it wasn't true. So he's like, yeah, I understand. I did that. And all I know is that I'm not trying to go down. One person's going to have to go down. It might as well be Marvin. <laughs> and basically, um, Rock said, I don't do that to family. Nobody's going to go down. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I guess all of us going to go down. I'm tired of this, <laughs> you know, blah, 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 blah. So Howard leaves and basically Lou is begging for his life and it doesn't work <laughs> but i gotta go back i gotta go back i gotta go back gerald gerald is at the hospital he lost his youngest child i think it's allison he was trying to get a fix and the girl took was taking a bath and she drowned in the bathtub so he's feeling worse and, and pathetic and all that about his life he ends up confessing that the fbi wanted him to uh get some uh, information on Marvin. He said he didn't. You know, you never even told me anything. <laughs> but but you were willing to do that, Gerald. It's just you didn't get any information and you backed out. He confessed to the whole thing. And then Marvin instantly turned on him. Like, you ain't ish. And I'm hoping your children get, a, <laughs> get taken away from you. And all this good stuff. So Gerald ended up overdosing and now he is dead. <laughs> I don't have no feelings about it because it's like, Gerald, you messed up. And for somebody to rescue you out of a crack house or, or drug house, why would you do that, sir, to him? I know that the FBI were trying to strong harm you, arm you, but that is so crazy. Whatever. Uh, so, in the meanwhile, of course, Ronnie, Ronnie met with Snap and Pop. Ronnie was like, Rock is coming in between um, us getting our, our shipment and all that. She's really uh, effing things up. And they were like, no, she's not effing things up for us. You are effing us up because you got money from us. And whatever Rock is doing effing with you, that's on you. 
mess with y'all. So then later on, Kanan has to go meet with Snap and Pop. And they basically said that something has to be done with Brock. It looks like they are putting the assignment on him to take care of Rock. That is interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. So Snap and Pop, to me, are punks. Because why don't you handle your own dirty work? I mean, essentially, you two, uh, I mean, you're on different sides of the track right now. And it's versus each other, Rock and Kanan. But this is a fight that all these adults have towards Rock. Yeah, Kane is not fooling with his mom, but it wasn't to the point of putting her down. So they end up driving Lou out to the outskirts. <laughs> Lou is still begging for his life. Obviously, what's about to happen is what Unique did to, I mean, Ronnie, what Ronnie did to Unique. He's like, I don't want to be out there alone. Rock just keeps looking at him in the rearview mirror, but she ain't got no sympathy. He's like, it's got to happen. <laughs> of course, he's still pleading with Marvin. I'm your baby brother, da 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 Marvin's giving him liquor and all that. So obviously we're going to know what happened to Lou in the next episode. I'm interested to see what happens, but I really thought that this was it uh, for the season. But stay with me next week and let's see what happens. But please leave your comments below. What did you think of this episode and how do you think things are going to turn out for the finale next week? All right. I appreciate everyone again for coming to my channel. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed as of yet. And leave your comments below. Until the next video. Peace.